So let's talk about some of the rules of rapid article writing now. I want you to really understand this, that these are techniques that are going to help you maximize your effectiveness. Now, you are welcome to ignore any of these and all of them if you so choose. However, if you apply these rules, they're really, really going to help you to massively increase your productivity. I use these rules, I apply them, and I can get massive amounts of work done. Um, so I think it's very, very effective for you to do so. So firstly, you need to remove all the distractions from around you. So you need to make sure that you're not going to get distracted, distracted at all. So this means simple things such as, you know, if the dog's barking, set, put the dog out, switch the email client off. It's far too easy for you to say, well, you know what, I'm just going to check my email. And then two hours later, you think, what was I doing? Turn off Skype you know, or your internet messenger, whatever it might be. Turn it off because, again, somebody pops up with a message when you're just starting. You think, oh, I'll just go and answer that. Two hours later, you go, I'm sure I was doing something important. Get rid of Facebook, turn that off, close your browser, switch the phone off, shut the door, you know, put the kids in the garden, whatever it is. Get rid of all distractions. Turn them off, switch them off, put them outside, whatever it might be. You know, whatever you need to. If you haven't got the distractions, you can focus on the task at hand and you'll find you'll be massively more productive. You know, a lot of these people that say, well, article writing takes me forever, you'll find that actually it probably didn't if they actually concentrated on it. Most of the time, instead of writing articles, they are probably messing around on Facebook, Skype, email, or whatever it might be. So, yeah, pay attention to these rules because they are there to help you. What I recommend is you use a, a countdown timer to time your tasks. So, uh, I there's one that you can download. It's called Cool Timer. It ensures that you don't overrun. And basically, what this will do for you is one of the techniques we're going to talk about in a minute is when you're doing these articles, you time yourself. So that you don't get distracted and you, you feel like you've got a deadline. Because people work better when they've got deadlines. So with the countdown timer going, you're going to rush to get through it. And if you're dictating your articles, which again we'll talk about in a little while. If you're dictating them, then what you'll find is you'll make sure you finish in time. Particularly if you set a nasty noise to go off at the end. You know, so that it's going to distract you and you know ruin your recording so using the countdown timer make sure that you stick to the job at hand and make sure you focus so you can say right i'm going to spend you know half an hour researching articles you put your countdown timer on you focus on it half hour later you count down timer goes ring ring you say right i finished i'm going to do something else now you know you, this helps you to focus on the task at hand and get it done without deciding you're going to go and do something else and um, you know skipping and taking things a lot longer you need to have a good understanding of your niche as well now this is something that you may do with a bit of research you know check out a few sites understand what do your niche want what do they need what are their problems what are their issues and so on and so forth having this basic understanding is going to help you to write articles that they're going to want to read so it's going to improve the quality of your articles you also need to know who you're targeting in your article. You know, your niche may be, um, say, people who own PlayStation 3s, but you've got the teenagers, your young adults, you've got the 20-somethings, the 30-somethings, and so on. Who are you targeting? They're all slightly different. So having an understanding of who you're focusing on, you know, the, the ideal person you're focusing on in your article, is going to help you to make sure that you write that article with them in mind, and it's going to be targeted, precise, and really, really good for them. This planning and research phase is going to save you a lot of time. You see, what a lot of people do is they do the research and the planning whilst they're trying to write the article. So they think, well, I've got to write an article for my dog training website. Right, let's go and have a look. What do people in the niche want? What uh, problems are they facing? Who am I writing for? What do they want to know? And so on and so forth. So by planning and researching up front, the actual article writing is, is minutes. It really, really is. And you end up with really, really high quality articles because of it. And what you're doing here is we're focusing on the end result. We're not focusing on, you know, how writing the article. We're focusing on the completed article. I think it's very important. Now, here's some of my favorite tips for organizing your articles. I tend to write articles in batches of 10. Um, sometimes I do them in fives, but usually it's batches of 10. It's a lot easier. You know, 10 articles for my site means, you know, 10 submissions, 10 backlinks, 10 whatever it might be. So it's a good number to write in. 
So I tend to group my articles into categories of 10. I will usually create uh, a folder for each one. So yeah, I might have, my main niche might be dog training and my subject today might be um, bark training, training your dog not to bark, for example. So I'm gonna write 10 articles on that. What I will do is I will give it, I will go into create two folders. My top level folder would be dog training. My next level folder, subfolder, would be training your dog not to bark. I would then go in and create 10 text files. I would number them from zero to nine. Um, now you can do this um, on pen and paper, or you can use some mind mapping software or whatever. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can use a spreadsheet even, up to you. So each of my text files has now got a number, naught to nine. What I do next is I write out a title for each article. So the title is the main point I want to cover. So we're gonna talk about the title a bit more in a moment, but I'll write out a title. Once I've done a, a title, I will then write out between three and five points for each article next to the title. So, you know, I, t I will plan this out perhaps on a piece of paper. The folder on the computer will just have the number and the title, but my piece of paper next to me, that will have each title and then three to five points that I'm gonna cover in the article. And if you do that, what you'll find is that three, three points will get you sort of 300 to 350 words. Five points will typically get you round about 500 words. So that's my sort of rough guideline. I typically aim for about 500 words. It looks better in the article directory, so I tend to write out five points. But if you're just after a blog post or a shorter article, three points will do fine. And once you've done this, you've pretty much created your articles. All you've got to do is then flesh out the points and add an introduction and conclusion, and you've got your articles done. So, yeah, I'd be doing this as I'm doing my research. So, yeah, I'll find something that people want to know. That might be one, or two, three, four articles. Then put some points in it. Excellent, ready to go when I start start um, writing the articles. So, yeah, this this is sort of a pre-planning stage that really, really helps. And if you can start outsourcing part of this, it's going to help massively as well. Because what you could do is you could always send the article titles and the points to an outsourcer and get them to write it. Or you can follow our dictation method, which we'll talk about in a minute, and um, use that as well. So that's how you organize your articles. Once you've organized your articles, we're then ready to move on to the next stage and start talking about exactly how we um, record them and, and use them to make them you know, get the articles written and out there.